Now you know we're going left here, and then we're just going straight until we get there, right? Okay, Jack. No other turn other than this turn. Okay, Jack. Backseat Johnny. What I have here is the Sprecher Cream Soda. It's a craft soda. Notice this, which I thought was interesting. Made with real Wisconsin honey. I'll tell you what, this bottle's thick and good looking. Yeah, that's cream soda, all right. There's nothing subtle there. I'm getting a little, little bit of that honey, maybe, for sweetness. Boy, I like that cream soda. I'm going to go three out of five back seats. The name is Frank Carney, and I am unapologetically a carnivore. My show is called Honestly Carney. I eat meat, and I'm not ashamed of that. Now, my vegan friends tell me, Hey, there's all kinds of alternatives out there. You ought to look into it. That's why I started my show. I'm a carnivore, and I review only vegan options. Vegetarian options. I guess there's a difference. I haven't figured it out yet. My friends, they tried to explain it to me. They say the vegetarians are eggheads. Uh, that's what the vegans say. I don't know what that means. Uh, I get along with all of them. Um, most of them. What I've got here is by Beyond Meat. It's a jerky. So obviously this isn't meat. This is some sort of plant-based. Um, let's check it out. I'm curious. You know, my, my vegan friends, they tease me about the clothes I like to wear. And I say, hey, this is, this is just carnivore chic. They say, well, what is carnivore chic? Well, carnivore chic is flannels and boots, and I like my denim. You know, my vegan friend, first time he met me, says, you know, I could tell that you're a meat eater by smelling you. <laughs> he smelled me and said, I smell like a porterhouse steak. I said, you bet I do. There it is. Feels like meat, looks like meat. Tell you what, it's a teriyaki flavor, and the flavor is not too bad. I'm surprised at the texture. The texture, it has that beef jerky texture when you're chewing it. It breaks apart like beef jerky. Actually, if you told me this wasn't meat, I wouldn't have known the difference as far as texture. Flavor, it is a little different. But as an alternative uh, to meat, this is not a bad, this is not bad. So for the Beyond Meat Teriyaki Jerky, I'm going to go ahead and give it 6 out of 10 vegans. Hello everybody, Carl here. You know, I was sitting here thinking... You got all these seltzers out there now. What in the world are they? 
Everybody's making a seltzer. You got Budweiser's making seltzers. You got this thing out there called White Claw. They're making seltzers. They're leading the way. They're leading the charge, the White Claw. I don't know what's going on. Because a seltzer, it's just carbonated water. Well, if it's carbonated water, why are you calling this drink a seltzer? Because, I mean, isn't... Is it beer? Carbonated water? With their mixture in there? I mean, isn't that what's happening with these White Claws? Carbonated water? With their mixture in it? Their alcohol? Well, I imagine the technical people are going to tell you beer's a beer. No matter what the water's doing, bubbles or not. Well, here, look. For example, just to add to the confusion, this is canteen. Watermelon, vodka, soda. <laughs> How's it a soda now? Who says? Who says it's a soda? 5% alcohol. And how is a soda any different than a, a seltzer? A flavored carbonated water. What's going on? What's a soda? What's a water? What's a seltzer? And they got just flavored seltzer out there, flavored water. It's expensive too. It's confusing. And like I said, you got that white claw leading the charge. Look at their logo. It's a big old wave shaped like a claw. That's confusing. That don't even make sense. None of it makes sense. I promise you a couple years, they'll all be gone. It's for you, vodka, soda, a canteen. You ain't got a shot. I'm already mad at you for being confusing. <laughs> Gross. Tastes like some nasty spring water with some bubbles in it. I don't care for it. Give it one out of five tickets. <laughs>